they do still have the noisy kettle, though it's been a bit well behaved this morning. Um, how are we all doing? Hope we're all well. Um, if you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you're one of the OGs, welcome back guys. Hope you're all good. Uh, it's just gone 8.30 in the morning here. Lawrence is walking Jack for his um, morning stroll and his uh, first pee break. <laughs> uh, a bit worried about Daxter this morning. Normally when um, he hears sort of stirring in the house, in the morning, providing he's home. Nine times out of ten, he's we like him, you know, locked down at night. Occasionally, you know, when it's summertime, he just sort of does one. <laughs> but uh, anyway, he slept at home last night, and um, normally, as soon as the lounge door opens, he runs upstairs, and he'll either head straight to my room or to William's room. Uh, we're on the first floor. William's in the attic, and he's like, meow, 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 and he's he's black. Begging for food, that's all he's interested in. And uh, this morning I came down and um, he was just laying on the floor in the hallway. Um, just sort of lay there, not like lay like ugh, but just lay there like meh. And um, I called him, I sat down in the lounge, he was sort of lay half in, half out of the um, hallway. So I called him in and he came and um, gave him a stroke and he purred a bit. And then he lay down on the floor next to me. So Lawrence is, um, normally he go he walks with the dog. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, Lawrence um, said, oh, I'll take him out. So he picked him up. And um, he didn't protest at being picked up and he was burring away. But yeah, he's just not interested in his food. And it just seems to be a bit, yeah, meh is the word for I can describe. So anyway, I'll keep an eye on him. Um, I've not put any food out for him yet. I'll wait and see if he comes and uh, tells me he wants to eat it. It's a bit worrying, because he was fine yesterday. Hmm. Maybe he's been eating something he shouldn't do. But then, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. I'm going to keep an eye on him, of course. He's not like an elderly cat. He's 10. So he's probably like, I don't know, mid-40s by our standards. <laughs> I don't know, I'm probably waffling on this all these books are rubbish as usual. <laughs> okay, kettle's finished boiling. I'm going to make the coffee. Oh! It's VE day today. So, uh, yeah, who'd have thought 75 years later the country would be in the position we're in? So, I heard there's not many celebrations going on. There will be a speech from the Queen Elizabeth. I don't know what Holland's got planned. Um, anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to eat my breakfast, but good sign, Daxter is eating, although he, he wasn't really, he was like, mm, do I want it, do I not, but anyway, I've put it down, he's eating it, uh, maybe he's just tired, maybe he's having a flat day, <laughs> but uh, how exciting, I have to show you the veg cow, because we have... Looking like they're quite uh, sturdy, those peppers as well. I knew that I could see the soil sort of bulging out a little bit. Anyway, super thrilled. I really have to repot all these seedlings now. Well, not not those peppers, tiny peppers and the chives. But again, rain forecasted, so I might just have to clear the kitchen table or on the island, which is where you guys are stored, and do some repotting on there. What's the worst that can happen? I just have to clean the mess up. Okay, I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going upstairs to my very messy craft room to sign on for the day. Oh, I need a stretch. Oh. oh, I've not heard those birds this morning. I've realised I have to try and stop talking to you with these headphones on because I just look like a cabbage patch kid every time I have them on. <laughs> 
so anyway I'm, I'm done for the day now um i've just checked the it's called the bound radar the um weather radar uh it's a dutch app and it's usually pretty accurate and they show you like a graph of um you know rainfall but they also sh show you uh like um, a satellite image so you can see where clouds are and stuff i've just checked it and there's no rain forecasted for a couple of hours although it looks like it's imminent i saw two i wonder if they floated already those little chicks i'll have to go up to joshua's room and have a nosy that might be why they've been quieter actually they might have been out practicing their flying they best be careful because that dax does a killer <gasps> the amount of chicks and mice and oh, ducklings that he's brought in over the years <laughs> nature anyway i'm i'm gonna just see if i can get out there in, in the garden and do a bit of repotting because i'm ever so green fingered not <laughs> pot all of them but um i've potted all the cucumbers that had like their true leaves and then um the tomato <laughs> just loads of them so i've just um separated a few and then stuck them in pots so and then this little fur baby joined me didn't you it's still not right though it's purring I'm confused definitely he's not himself are you Mm. Yes, I'm just going to I'm going to clean up now. Good morning from my very messy craft room. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't really film anything else yesterday. I watched Kirsty watched the very first show of Kirsty. so far so good uh, i've not had time to catch up on the sewing bee yet because i think it was the second program on monday so i have to make time to do that i've actually considering that you know we're, we're confined to the house i'm so busy i don't want to do what anyway i didn't check the seedlings this morning so i'm hoping they survived the night it has been raining so um, obviously I'm going to hold off on watering them. We'll see. Um, oh yes, today is Captain Tom, and now Colonel Tom, his 100th birthday. And I uh, just checked the news and he's raised over £29 million, pounds, the NHS. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, he's um, an army veteran who decided to uh join lockdown he wanted to walk um i think it was a, I, I, I stand corrected it was either a hundred or no i think it was a thousand length or width of his garden uh before he turned 100 to raise money for charity and then you know the press got news of it and he's been like this sort of a beacon of hope you know during covid and um yeah the queen has honored him so he's not um a captain anymore he's officially a colonel um he's 100 today and yeah he's he wanted to raise his goal was to raise a fat i think it was a thousand pounds for charity and out, at, as it stands it's over 29 and a half million pounds it's just unbelievable so happy birthday captain colonel tom not that you'll be watching but anyway i'm going to commemorate the occasion it's so nice wow
What an achievement. So not only is he an honorary colonel, he'll get a letter from the Queen. I think she still does that. When you turn 100, you get a letter from... I'm talking about Queen Elizabeth, not Queen um, Maxima, who's the Dutch Queen. Okay, well, uh, just turning all my gubbings on, checking some emails, and then, um, yeah, I've got a few things to be getting on with, but... I'm free from work next week, so I've got one appointment, a telephone appointment with the um, like the occupational health people. But yeah, what to discuss? I am really, really missing my um, bioresonance um, appointments, especially sitting here. You know, oh my back has been very sore. Also, um, neck and shoulder complaints as well. But so far, the bladder situation is okay. I have a couple of twinges now and again, but um, I just pop a load of the sort of supplements that um, I've got. So I don't have to take supplements every day, but if I feel anything, I just sort of do a couple of days of taking all the stuff he gave me um, before lockdown. So, well, he didn't give me, he prescribed it and I had to buy it myself. If you know what I mean, waffling. I think on another note, those little birdies, I think they've flown the nest. So I think the reason that they were so noisy the last couple of weeks is that they were um, practising because it's gone quite quiet and um, I've not seen much coming and going. I've seen the occasional bird flying and out but nothing you can hear. The birds are chirping outside but there's no, there's no noise from the guttering so well that's a shame I missed it. I wouldn't mind seeing little chickies flying away. Okay, my computer's working now. Time to dive in. So, that's me done for a week's holiday. Uh, sorry, just watching Daxter. Hey! Seems to have picked up a little bit. Come say hello. Hey! He's half asleep. He's been sleeping on the sofa for about three or four hours. Come here. Oh, he's half asleep. Oh. Say hello to the people. Hello, fans. <laughs> oh, he's purring. He's such a teddy bear. So he's not 100% yet, though. I wonder if he's ate something. It's very strange. So, um, anyway, I've checked the seedlings. They seem to have survived the night. I'll insert a little clip now. And um, luckily, yesterday afternoon, we had um, a few hours of um, quite nice weather. It was sunny. So we managed to get all the cushions on the sofa completely dry because we had to keep sort of flipping them over. And uh, Lawrence got the cover on. So that was perfect timing because it has been raining. And then if I can put you down. Do you want to go out? I'm just going to let him out. Can hear the frogs. That's so noisy. <laughs> uh, so I've decided to pick up my crochet project again. So this is the um, waffle stitch blanket I've been working on, which I think will take me forever. And really stupidly, I've lost the um, little sleeves that go around all the yarn balls and um, um, I'm going to run out. I've, I have got a bit to keep me going for a few days, you know, just for something to do, but and I haven't got anywhere near enough to make a whole blanket and um, yeah, I don't know the colours. So I think um, I might have to photograph it and send it to, um, I actually, I, I bought these off the wool man who's um, the guy who comes to the market every Friday in the next village from us and that's he's always there every friday so i know i can always go and get yarn off him and i just i can eyeball it if i see it in a you know in a row of other blues for example i can easily pick it out but then on the internet i'm like is that that is it royal blue or this blue so i'm thinking i might photograph it 
and send him a message and see if you can figure out what colour it is I need and just hope he's got them in. We'll see. Market, so it's very sort of long and thin, but um, it's okay, it seems to have done the trick. It smells amazing. Oh, I'm just catching up with that great British Sobe. I just love that program. I would never ever have the balls to apply to go on it, but you know, I learn stuff as well. You know, you get great tips. They were showing us how to do an invisible zip, which I know, but it's just nice seeing other people doing it anyway. Okay, well, I think I've waffled on enough for the last couple of days, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Hope you're all well and safe, and um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with lockdown where you are. We're just sort of plodding on. Um, next week I'm free with William, so that's going to be nice, and fingers crossed for better weather. Although it's not too bad here, it's sort of, it, it goes from like cloudy and rain to... Um, sunny clouds so it's okay it's nice i mean if it doesn't rain it's fine yeah that's all we can hope for um yeah so i'm gonna wrap it up and say once again thanks for joining me and thanks for tuning in thanks for hitting the like and subscribe buttons below and then i never remember in one of these corners there is a bell and if you click on that bell you'll get a notification every time there's a new upload stay safe i'll see you in the next vlog bye